That's my big sister. Please be mindful of your personal sake. Sorry to have kept you waiting. No, no, not at all. I know that you have a thousand different things to do each day. I'm very grateful for any amount of time you can spare from me. Great. Well, let's leave the formalities aside from now on and make this just a friendly chat. This is the Traveler. I'm assuming you've heard of her. She happened to be in Leo Harbor today, so I invited her to come along. It's a rare opportunity to dine with her, too. Do you mind if she sits with us? No, not at all. On the contrary, I'm honored. What a surprise to be dining with the illustrious traveler, too. I've always been fascinated by you and your adventures. There's so many questions I'd love to ask you. I'm sorry, where are my manners? I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> Look at me, getting all overexcited. I'm Luo Chiao, a businesswoman. I work mostly in the textile business, but recently I've been considering branching out into some other markets. That's what I wanted to ask Lady Ning Guang for some advice about. I didn't know there'd be a surprise guest involved, too. <laughs> so, the rumors are true, then. Rumors? About what, exactly? You know, the rumors about the two of you, Lady Ningguang and the Traveler, having a, a closer-than-average relationship. You haven't heard? Come on, you must know that Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. That obviously includes her relationships. And if you didn't have some sort of special relationship, why would she invite you to this lunch right after finding out that you were back in Liyue Harbor? <laughs> Interesting. Yes, we do have a special relationship, but I don't see anything unusual about it. The Traveler is a national hero in Liyue whose actions have directly contributed toward the prosperity we enjoy today. Even putting aside my official status as one of the Liyue Qixing, I admire her on a personal level, too. Oh, yes. Well, there is nothing unusual about it at all. I was just observing that Lady Ningguang now seems to have a second interesting character in her innermost circle. The first one being the captain. You're comparing apples and sunsetias there. Whenever Beidou returns to Liyue Harbor, all she brings me is a headache. I've missed out on a number of extremely promising investment opportunities thanks to her. In fact, the timing is always so suspiciously coincidental, I can't help but wonder if she's doing it on purpose. Investment opportunities? Oh, do you mean the luminescent spine business? I hear that's been all the rage recently. No, something else. All the talk about luminescent spines is just empty hype. Oh, but isn't there some new technology from Fontaine that needs lots of luminescent spines to make it work? If it were really that profitable, those in the know would have kept it as quiet as possible. You have to wonder, if the news is spreading like wildfire, who's fanning the flames? I had my secretary do some analysis. The current price of luminescent spines far exceeds the profits that could be made on the end product. So I would advise you to be cautious. I see. Well, <laughs> I was planning to get your opinion on how to get started in that business. In my opinion, there are many people around with ulterior motives, making this a very risky business to enter into in the short term. Long term, it's very difficult to say, but I believe there's too much uncertainty to make it worth your investment. You worked hard to earn every more you own, and you should be just as careful spending it as you were making it. You think so too, huh? Okay, 
Got it. If that's what both of you think, I'll take my time and not rush into anything. Maybe it'd be a better choice to invest this money into an industry that I'm genuinely interested in getting involved with. Lady Ningguang, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today. I didn't know how much we'd get through, but you've answered every question I wanted to ask. Good. I'm glad I could be of some help. Now I see why you were able to become the most successful business person in Liyue Harbor. You think clearly, you are very knowledgeable, and you keep yourself well informed. <laughs> it would take me a very long time to come anywhere close to your level. You've been listening for a while. Are you getting bored? Has it sparked an interest in the business world for you? That means you also have a good head on your shoulders, and the ability to learn rapidly. If you are in need of Mora, you should absolutely consider doing business. I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you. This lunch was everything I was hoping for and more. I can't wait to try out everything I've learned. See you next time. I'll look forward to hearing good news from you soon. Right then. Lunch is over. I assume you have something planned next? Although... I'm a little concerned about the auction. I wonder how my secretarial trio is getting along. Yes, you're right. Whatever happens, they can handle it. In that case, what's next on the schedule? Ah, okay then. Yes, it's been some time since I last caught up with them. Let's go to Mingxing Jewelry first. I need to pick up something before meeting them. Hello. I'm here to collect the item I handed in for repair. Ah, Lady Ningguang. One moment, please. I'll fetch it immediately. Very good. Don't rush now. Please, handle it with care. Hmm. Yes, and no. You probably imagine that Mingxing Jewelry deals exclusively in expensive luxury goods. The workers here are very skilled, so I like to come to them when I need something custom-made. This time, though, I just had them do a simple repair. The item is quite ordinary. In fact, the cost of the repair was more than the item was ever worth. Lady Ningguang, your comb has been fixed. Please inspect it and see whether you're satisfied with our work. We did everything we could to restore it to its original condition. You'll still see a few marks on there, though. This was unavoidable because of how badly damaged the item was. That's fine. Thank you for your hard work. Yes, though it is something very precious to one of my informants. It reminds her of her mother. My informants often provide me with extremely important information. It's only fair that I endeavor to meet any requests they have in return. Trust is of far greater importance than profit in the relationship between me and my informants. It's understandable to think that way, and in the vast majority of cases, you'd be completely right. But things are a little different with these particular informants. Mora doesn't get you very far with this crowd. And this only makes me all the more excited to meet with them. Thank you for the repair, Xingqi. This is a great help. Oh, don't mention it. It's always a pleasure, Lady Ningguang. Let's go and meet them. Auntie Ningguang! Hi, 
Auntie Ningguang. Hello, my dears. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yes, indeed. And they are some of my most reliable helpers and friends. I didn't want to involve them in intelligence gathering for me at first, but they, on the other hand, were so enthusiastic about the idea that I thought it couldn't hurt to try. I treated it as a little game between us. It turned out that they delivered the goods and thoroughly enjoyed themselves while they were at it. So, it was a win-win. So, fill me in. How have you all been doing? Great! Mom and Dad have taken me on loads of cool trips recently. It's been loads of fun. But you didn't do your homework, did you? Yeah, but it's not my fault. You still gotta try. Like teacher says, Liyue Harbor is in a new age now, and we've got a really important part to play. This new age started after that great battle, you know. Well, this is a dramatic change. Unique in all of the millennia of Liyue's history. Everyone is eager to do their part and make their mark in the age of humanity. What about you, Nan Nan? You haven't said anything yet, and you're looking a little unhappy. Uh, uh, I'm fine. Um, just don't know what to say. Oh yeah, I just remembered. A load of really big boats came into the harbor the day before yesterday. Yeah, that's right. All the merchants were there, and it was really noisy. And then the people on the boat started unloading all these crates. There was a salty kind of fishy smell in the air. Ugh. Oh, I see. That'll be the fishing boats coming back from the open ocean. How much cargo were they carrying? Remember, I taught you how you can tell. Yep. I made sure to look at the waterline, just like you said. They looked really full this time. My goodness. Well, it sounds like they made quite a big catch. The heavier the boat, the lower the hull sits in the water. So you can tell how heavily loaded a vessel is from the height of the waterline. How deep a fully loaded vessel will sit in the water varies from ship to ship. But it's something you can tell from experience, at least for the kinds of vessels you see regularly. <laughs> Since Auntie Mingguang taught me how to do it, I can tell with just one look. Um, a few days ago, um, I, I heard some people saying that a big merchant from Fontaine is coming soon to buy luminescent spines. They said that when they get here, the price will go up a lot. Oh, really? Who did you hear this from? Do you remember what they looked like? Um, mm, no, I don't remember. All right, never mind. So, how about what they said? Do you remember their exact words? Um, uh, um, uh, I don't remember that either. Sorry. Are you okay? You're usually the one that talks the most. What's gotten into you today? It's okay. Don't be upset. Actually, I brought you a little something to cheer you up. How about that, hmm? It's my comb. You remembered. Of course I did. If I make you a promise, I will always keep it. Thank you, Auntie Ningguang. Thank you so much. It was just a small favor, really. Nothing to get overexcited about. But... but... they said you'd be too busy to remember about a boring old calm. They... Uh-oh. It's all right, don't worry. 
There just seems to be some kind of misunderstanding here. Why don't you take this opportunity to clear it up? Don't you think that'd be best? Yeah, Auntie Mingwang's not gonna blame you. I'm sorry. I... I... I told you a lie. That thing about the luminescent spines wasn't something I heard. Um... Two people came and told me to say it to you. I told them I didn't want to lie to Auntie Ningguang, but, um... They told me you'd forgotten all about the comb, and I, I didn't know how to argue with them. Then they bought me a new comb, and... and I... I'm sorry, I'll give them the comb back right away. No comb is better than the one you helped get fixed for me. I know how much it means to you. It was a gift from your mom before she left Liyua Harbor, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I'll be extra careful with it from now on. When mom gets back, she'll be so sad if she finds out I broke it. I must say, this is most intriguing.